Hi, everyone. It's Louise with Louise McCare, and welcome to my channel. Today, I am going to be repurposing this old Victrola record album. And this is about 10 inches big. Now, I did something on this, I don't know, a year ago. I don't even know what this was. But anyway, I'm doing a pour over, and I'm going to make this into a clock. So that is the plan for today. So again, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you taking your time out of your day to come by and see what I'm up to and hopefully maybe pick up a couple tips and tricks for you to use in your own creations. So I'll call out my colors as I go. This is the Glidden 6011N that I'll be using as my pillow. And I have my colors over here. This is an old color palette. The interesting story about this is that um, downtown at the store where they sell a lot of my stuff, um, I have a lot of CDs that I take down there. And there are people now that are coming in asking for uh, the artist to create a larger clock for them. So that's what I'm doing. This is a 10 inch. I don't know if I've shown the other videos yet, but I've made a couple other sizes as well. Um, yeah, so now I'm going bigger on the clocks which actually makes my life easier because the hands I buy are always bigger and I have to cut them down. So with this, I don't have to cut anything down, which is really kind of nice. So here I'm going to lay down the pillow. This is the Glidden. And I've been really happy with how this performs. It is a little runnier than my Multi-Pro. But I don't have the bubble problem. And even if I do, I have my bubbler, my debubbler, my vacuum pump over in the other side of the room here that I use occasionally to um, take the vacuum, to, to create a vacuum and take all the air bubbles out. So we'll start with this. I put a little more in the middle at the start here because I have the divot in the middle. I'm going to make sure I have good paint coverage there. This is what happens after you've been using a tub for a while. You get all these little dry crusties, and if you're not careful, they'll go into the into the paint, and you'll have to you'll find them later, <laughs> which is not what you want to do. Okay, so my colors. What I've got here, my first color is a uh, pearl color. It's Arteza's Pearl Sky Blue with Golden's Green Phthalo. I'm sorry, it's Golden's Phthalo Green. Oh my gosh, what is it? Let me just let me just show you with Golden's Phthalo Green Blue Shade and then also some Titanium White to get this color. Again, it, my stuff is always thick, it seems. But it works for me. So let's get this color down. And I think I'm going to blow this out with my lungs. We'll see. I have my little Berta over here in the wings at the ready in case I need an emergency bailout. There's always a plan B. I always have a plan B up my sleeve just in case. Got to be thinking that, thinking in terms of, you know, if this doesn't work, because this is, this is at the edge of my lung power. Um, this is 10 inches and I have a fly in here. I may have to take a break to get rid of this fly. Anyway, this is 10 inches and it's about at the edge of my blow power. And I've already got some air bubbles in this. And now for some reason that the Arteza's pearl colors tend to be a little more bubblicious than some of the others I'm noticing. And I do love to use my pearl color, so maybe that is what is really contributing to my bubbles. I don't know. You're always thinking, always thinking. This is my uh, Amsterdam's greenish blue with Golden's Cerulean Blue Deep and some Folk Art Deep Atlantic Blue. And I think that's it. Three colors. Deep Atlantic Blue. Cerulean Blue Deep by Golden and Greenish Blue. 
Greenish Blue by Amsterdam. Let's lay this color down. So pretty. Custom color, and you know, if you've been watching me, you'll know, I love to create custom colors. Okay, that's that. My gold combination, which is the 24 karat gold, gold by Deco Art, and the iridescent gold by Golden. That fly is really asking for it. <laughs> you know, it's almost like they try to just antagonize. I don't know. I'd like to just open the door and let him out, but I'm afraid I'm going to have his friends come partying through the door. <laughs> TLP sea glass. Only sea glass in here. If you've watched me, you know I like to drizzle. I think I'm going to need the hair dryer here. We shall see. <clears throat> Got to clear my lungs. Payne's Gray by Arteza and Golden. That's a big old bubble. I think that was a bubble. Yep. Yeah, I've done one of these on a 10 inch um, little wood board from Am uh, Amazon and it uh, started to warp on me and anyway I don't like it that much so I'm probably just going to dump it <clears throat> so I'm back to create another one here <clears throat> with this size all right I'm sizing this up whether I'm able to blow this out or not I'm going to make a decision as I'm blowing because I'm going to first of all put the cell activator in here I'm going to blow in see how well it's moving now knowing it's glidden it might move better and then I'm going to make a split second decision whether I'm going to continue with blowing with my lungs or whether I'm going to blow with the hair dryer. Let me just get this out of the way in case I make that decision. Okay, here we go. So if you're interested, this is my American Floatrol Cell Activator. I have a recipe. It's video 141 if you want to see how I make it. It's the white and the black. So this was a tricky blow because I had to blow hard enough to spread the paint out, but not so hard that I'm blowing into the pillow. And if you want to have some tips and tricks about how the blow works and how I do the blow, I have a video 419, I'll link it above, that talks about the art of the blow, the angle that you blow at, the speed that you blow at, and a few other things that you might find helpful in you creating your own creations doing a blowout with your lungs. And in this case, I ended up just going with my lungs because I know I was able to blow it out far enough and the spinner will help spread it the rest of the way I need it to go. All right. Probably would have liked to go that liked this to go a little farther out. Cell activator came back nicely. Let's pull it to the edge real quick. You know, if I don't like it, I can just go right over the top of it and pour over. Give it a spin. See how this develops. Get this centered first. I should not spin that fast. I know better than to spin that fast to start with. Wow. <clears throat> that paint is flying off. And it's spreading so easy. That's what I love about this Glidden, is that it just really moves very well. And it holds up. I don't have any problem with this falling apart on me. Oh, this is really nice. All right, right, let's. I'd like to keep this over here. Let's get some of this off over here. And let me clean up this top really quick. Gentle spin.
I don't like being in a mess if you haven't figured that out by watching me. Not that I'm the cleanest person in the world, but I don't like being in a mess. These cells over here are fantastic. I'm gonna do a little blowing here. Let's see where we are in the middle. Sort of in the middle without going into the hole. No. Oh. Maybe one more spin is all I need. A lot of little air bubbles. I do believe it's coming from my uh, Arteza's Pearl Sky Blue. Okay, let's just give it a cleanup and then I'm going to do another spin. The other thing about cleaning up is that you know if you're getting near the end of the paint spread out, you're learning, you're seeing if you have more paint to come off. If there's a lot of paint coming off, then you know you're not done because you've got to get the paint off. If you don't get the paint off, you're risking high risk of cracking as it dries. I don't want to lose those cells if I can avoid it. I do like this side. So I'm going to skip ahead here as all I'm doing is cleaning up the paint off the bottom. It's like I got a half and half going on here. I got dark side, light side. Gentle spin. Let's see where we are in the middle. Hardly anything on there. Perfect. You want to make sure you don't leave much paint on there. You don't want to overspin so that everything goes too wonky. I think we're done. This is where we are, folks. Pretty happy with it. So everyone, that's a wrap. Here are the wet results. I certainly hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and this is videoed and made before Helene decided to change our lives. As you can see, the backyard is still in good shape. But here are the final resin results of this clock, and I am really happy with how this turned out, and the client was quite happy as well. At the end here, I will have a link to my clocks playlist. I'll also include some of the highlights for other playlists as well. So that's all for now, everybody. Take care. Till next time.